Many low-speed vehicles have tyres made of polyurethane foam, rather than air-filled rubber tyres. Polyurethane doesn't deteriorate in sunlight and doesn't dry out over time. And if the tyre is made of the closed cell type of foam, it means that the tyre won't ever go flat. Polyurethane tyres are designed for low-speed vehicles, such as luggage carts and ride-on lawnmowers. This particular type of polyurethane foam has a closed cell structure, which prevents a flat, even if the tyre gets punctured. Millions of air bubbles encapsulated within the foam give it the required bounce factor. The first step is to take an aluminium model of the tyre and make a production mould with it. This tyre is for a forklift. The mould will have two halves, each one lined with a tread ring to prevent the cast tyre from getting stuck in the cavity. To make each half of the mould, they centre the model in a base. Then fill the space around it with polyurethane elastomer. This is a solid type of polyurethane, as opposed to the foam type that they use to cast the tyres. They stir gently to move air bubbles to the top. Then heat those bubbles with a small propane torch to burst them. With the help of a heated table to speed things along, this material solidifies in approximately 15 minutes, at which point they extract the half mould and trim its rough edges both inside and out. Then they marry the two halves and the production mould is ready. Most companies buy foam mixtures ready-made. This one blends its own in order to have a strict control over the formula. Technicians weigh out the chemical ingredients manually with a scale that's accurate to within 45 grams. A blade mixes the ingredients for half an hour moving everything from top to bottom more than 300 times. This ensures the mixture is evenly blended throughout. Before using this foam to cast the tyres, there's a quality control test. They take a sample from the batch and let it rise and set, which takes about a minute. Then they cut a piece and weigh it to calculate the density. If the sample meets specifications, the batch is ready to go. Just before filling the two halves of the mould with polyurethane foam, they lubricate the cavity with a release agent. This prevents the tyre from sticking to the mould on removal. A press keeps the mould closed and in place on the filling machine. The machine spins the mould while the foam flows into the cavity through a hole at the top. The centrifugal force distributes the foam evenly. In less than a minute, the foam, although not yet fully cured, is firm enough to be extracted. They open the mould Remove the tread ring, then dislodge the cast tyre with a short blast of an air gun. They trim the excess foam from the centre, and this can be used to make other products, such as floor mats. Here's what the tyre looks like before and after trimming. The polyurethane foam takes a further 24 hours to fully cure. Rim installation is simple. They place the rim on a base, followed by a mounting cone, then the tyre. A press snaps the centre of the tyre over the edge of the rim. Besides making the tyre flat resistant, the closed cell structure of this polyurethane foam doesn't absorb water, meaning wet conditions don't hamper their performance. The tyre is also UV resistant and withstands high abrasion and can last two to three times longer than an air-filled tyre. So you could say that all round, they're a winner.